I think the um, I think the book's broken. It's not letting me fold it in half. Or turn the pages. Nah. A faulty book over here. Welcome back, boys and girls. It's your boy Kieran from Rummage Around, and in today's video, we're at Car Boot, a midweek Wednesday car boot somewhere in the UK. That is your clue. We actually are in the UK, which is mad. Anyway, it's half seven in the morning. I'm kind of awake, so hopefully we do find some good stuff. I feel on my A game today. We are off to a car boot. Life is good. Hopefully you guys are absolutely smashing life as well. So anyway, guys, enough waffling on. Please do think about subscribing if you're new around here. Do smash that like button. Whatever you do, just smash that like button. Please, please, please. It helps the video so, so much. Smash the hell out of that like button. And without further ado, enough waffling on. Let's get in to the car boot. Car boot this way. Let's see what we have today. Oh, it's got the jacket, mate. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. Okay, mate. Thank you. I'll probably take that one. Thank you. Not too sure. Not too sure. <laughs> Look at this for a beast. The Audi Christmas jumper. Might be able to pick this up as well. Nicely, my denim jacket. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, he's got knees too, buddy. Uh, eight quid. Eight quid. We'll do you six? Seven? Right. Yeah, we'll do seven. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Just having a rummage around. Let's see what football shirts we got on the floor. Uh, I think they're all snide. Hmm. Let's have a rummage. Let's have a rummage. I have no idea what this is. Gonna stay there. Beautiful Mickey. It's probably gonna stay there. I have no idea. I must admit, I'm not the number one toy reseller. I ain't got a flipping clue. All items three for a pound. It's a bit of a rummage then. I don't think we're gonna find too much. Playmobil Pirates DVD? Nah, you're right. I don't think there is any trainers in here. Definitely no trainers in here. So, one IKEA bag full. Let's get another one and go back inside and see what bargains we can find. A Audi Christmas jumper already in the spring. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear. Oh, we've got new boots. Cool. They're solid, aren't they? <laughs> that's forever. Do your turn on them, but you know, that, that's a great price for them. Yeah. 
see what other trainers you've got as well. And how much you got on these ones? How much for them ones? We do 15 for the pair. I do 16 because I'm going to make a pound in the fucking boots. Yeah, right. we'll do 16 for the pair then, yeah? Yeah. Cool, thank you. How much you got your walking boots? They're five now. Two quid. Maybe not for five. Could you seven on that? Hey. They're nearly 40 quid in the shop. So they threw eight, it's a proper one. I'll do eight on it for you. Yeah, I'll do eight, mate, I'll do eight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got some lokes. Well, I can't go wrong, I can't say no to three quid, can I? The, um, I think the book's broken. It's not letting me fold in half. All turn the pages. Nah. A faulty book over here. T-shirt. <laughs> yeah. It's not letting me fold in half. All turn the pages. Nah. A faulty book over here. IKEA bag number two. And that one is literally full of the good stuff. Now this is what we're talking about. And that I think is gonna be the uh be it. So we'll get home and we'll go through exactly what we picked up. I didn't catch it all on camera, but yeah, decent little stuff. So we are now back. We've got the stock laid out right below me. We've we've picked up some absolute corkers. We've got some beautiful stuff to show you. Just gonna get a quick drink and a bite to eat, and then I will show you exactly what we picked up. We spent a whopping 90 pounds, and I think we could quite easily have about 500 pounds return, depending on a few little issues that I need to iron out. But yeah, 90 pound overall spent looking at around 500 pound in return. So without further ado, let's have a look exactly at what we picked up. So here we have the haul. We've got some absolute beautiful things today. I'm doing it outside because the weather is beautiful. Anyway, moving on to the first item. A pair of suede Clark size UK nine Chelsea boots. Definitely be on the lookout for Clarks because the value of stuff is going up, up and up and up. These should be an easy 30 to 35 pound and they only owe me eight. So not too bad indeed. I'll leave screenshots throughout the uh, video and hopefully they do add up to what I'm saying. We then picked up this pair of Jew Barrys of Ireland. These are obviously made in Ireland, UK size nine, really nice deck shoes. Perfect time now to be listing these and getting these sold. These are actually a bit of a bolo, so do Barry. Definitely be on the lookout for these. Should be looking at anywhere between 40 to 60 maybe pushing that 60 pound mark now it is spring coming up to summer that'd be really really nice but again i'll leave a screenshot just to confirm how wrong i am probably <laughs> we then have a multi all terrain pair of asics these are in fact the gel scream twos what it means by all terrain is basically these are for like trial running, going up mountains, going cross country, all that good stuff. And you can tell that by the soles of the pair of trainers. These, I can only find one pair on eBay and that's in America. 
and it works out to be like £80, £90, but I'm going to stick these up for about 30 and uh, take offers and go from there. But yeah, nice little pair of trainers for sure. Nice colourway, purple and grey. Paid five, five into 30, quite comfortably. Bish, bash, bosh. If I ever see a pair of Brooks out in the wild, I do tend to pick them up. They sell pretty, pretty strong in America. Not too strong in the UK, but they only owe me a £4. These are the GTS Adrenaline 8s. Should be looking anywhere between 25 and 30 pound so yeah not a bad little bread and butter item definitely be on the lookout for that logo there brooks strong strong brand and very quick sellers we then picked up a pair of lokes we all know that rummage around loves a pair of lokes can't go by and i have to pick up every single pair of lokes that i find definitely be on the lookout for these they're still commanding strong ish money these uh, are the boxer model, I do believe. They're like square toed as well. Three pound paid. Should be looking at a comfortable 35 to 40 pound. And a decent size as well. I think they're size nine and a half. So yeah, they should definitely fly out. We then have a pair of Tots TV styled kickers. These are beautiful. Look at these nice little green stitching, nice brown suede leather, UK size five. These will definitely fly out on Depop. Absolutely love kickers. I just there's something about them in it. It's Tots TV down to a T. Uh, these should be commanding anywhere between the 30 to 35 pound mark. These are another pair of kickers. These are the Mary Jane school shoe style. UK size four should be looking at again around the 25 to 30 pound mark. Slightly more wear on these ones. But the fact that they are school shoes, they should be able to sell all year round. And the Mary Jane style is basically that style here that you can see now. They're, you know, it's a very good keyword for a pair of shoes like this. These should be a comfortable 25 to 30 and only owed me a pound, one whole pound for a pair of kickers. Now that is a bish bash bosh moment. I don't really know why I picked these up, but I think I just picked them up because of Samuel Windsor. I think there's some sort of like slippers. Obviously, uh, didn't pay them from a charity shop, but they paid four pound. I paid a pound. They've got like a quilted lining inside. I think there's some sort of slippers. Absolutely no idea. One pound should be an easy 15, 15, maybe 18 pound. I don't know. Need to do a little bit more research. But like I said, there should be a screenshot somewhere on the screen now, which will uh, confirm the price. Now, these are very, very interesting. These are official Camel Boots Gore-Tex. Flipping heavy, solid pair of walking boots. Camel, obviously, look at that. That is a, that is a throwback in it. What a logo. Bish, bash, bosh. These are solid. Should be, I've seen a low top, uh, low cut ones go for about 30. So I should be pushing anywhere between that 50 and 60 pound mark. I'm gonna aim high on these. They've got everything. They're Gore-Tex, they're in good condition. Solid brand, really nice and vintage condition. Absolutely beautiful. I'll be aiming anywhere between 50 and 60 pound. And yes, they do have a very cool fleece lined style. I think he said the police used to wear them or something back in the day but not too sure but definitely my money's definitely safe with them paid eight pound should be looking anywhere between 50 and 60. we then picked up this box standard pair of merrill sort of low cut walking boots only had to pay three pound these are the select dry models really decent condition plenty of tread left plenty of life should be looking at anywhere between 25 pound to 28 out of push but they will sell all year round people love to walk merrill's is a very good strong brand in america and it sells pretty goddamn well here in the UK. So definitely be on the lookout for that M symbol there. Now, this is a bit of a bolo. This, well, this is bought to me because I used to do RA a lot during lockdown. And these were selling in B&M for £15 at one point. These, this one actually only owes me 10 And I should be looking anywhere between 50 and £60 for this. It's an absolute beautiful. It's, it's like a toy gadget thing you can play video games on it you can sort of like connect to other watches it's obviously a kid's toy but 10 pound into 50 60 pound brand new in its packaging i mean it's an absolute no-brainer but i wouldn't have known about toby twos if i didn't do any ra so for, yeah big up bnm and big up you guys that are watching bnm roundup 2 it's on twelve thousand views now which is is absolutely ludicrous just a staple piece here. Now we've got a Le Creuset teapot. Nice beige colour, really nice condition. I think it's 1.8 litres. I'm not too sure. I need to do a little bit more research. Paid £8 for that. It was probably one of the most expensive items that I did pay for, along with this. But should be looking at a comfortable £30 back from this. 
Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, decent condition, just needs a wash. And I'm, yeah, pretty happy with that. We then picked up this size small Levi denim jacket. It's probably not the time to be selling a denim jacket. However, if I sit on this, I'm not too fussed. Beautiful light wash colorway, size small, size, yeah, size small, made in the USA, 70507 model, just a plain light wash Levi denim jacket. Should be anywhere between 25 and 35 pound. Only owes me three pound 50. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Definitely a solid pickup. Now, if you know, you know, Mambo is a beautiful, especially Mambo Loud, is a beautiful brand to be on the lookout. This is Mambo Surf Deluxe. It's like a wet look sort of jacket sort of thing. I just love this button. Look at this button. Look at that. That is an absolute beautiful button. I don't know why I'm that interested about a button, but it's got Mambo buttons, Mambo Modern Exotica, YKK zips, really nice wet look, sort of 100% cotton jacket. Should be anywhere between 40 to 60 to 70 pound mambo is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for and it sells pretty quickly this might take a while to sell due to the time of year but i was never leaving that behind for a fiver yeah five pound into about 50 bish bash mambo we then picked up this western digital 500 gigabyte hard drive this is factory sealed it's not been out of its uh plastic covering the reason why they have compute parts in this plastic is to keep it away from static. This is a anti-static bag. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this hasn't been tampered with. Uh, pretty sure it's brand new. Should be looking anywhere between 25 to 30 pound. And I paid 30 pound, uh, no, 15 pound for these three, which moves me nicely onto this. These I don't think are genuine, but what I'm going to do is sell them as ungenuine, unbranded Apple 85 watt MagSafe power adapters, take them out of their box and sell them as you, well, open new box sort of, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they're genuine. If there's anyone out there that can help me, I've spoken to Jess and Jess thinks that they're not genuine either, but that is what we've got. Uh, it's sealed. They're the serial numbers. It just seems a bit fishy to be with, to be fair but my money is safe. I paid five pound each for the hard drive and the two power adapters. And I should be able to sell these unbranded for 15 pound each. I'm gonna take them out of their box so that there's no way of returns, well, hopefully. But if they are genuine, please let me know, but I don't think they are. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, we have this Audi Christmas jumper. You're probably thinking, why on earth are you buying Christmas jumpers in the height of spring? Yeah, good question. I have no idea, but we have, it's Audi. These are such a novelty piece. This will fly out at Christmas time for about the 20 pound mark. Owes me three pound 50. I was not leaving it behind because getting hold of these new is absolutely crazy, especially at Christmas time. They fly out in Audi and to be able to pick one up for three pound 50, I'll take that. Oh, and there we have it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Cats and dogs, thank you so much for watching. The sun is glistening on my fat forehead and I love it. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. I am a full-time UK eBay reseller living here in the UK. I know, with sun like this, it's absolutely gobsmackable. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Smash that like button, please, 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 please. Please, 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 it helps the algorithm so much. You guys are awesome, and I'll see you very shortly. Boom.